G'day folks and welcome to another episode of Papua TV. Yes, recently we had our Age of Reason conference here in Victoria, Australia. And it was a terrific success with over a hundred people attending. We had Keith Basterfield from South Australia. We had Paul Dean, our resident guru on government files. We had Ben Hurl, who is the director of Vavoa, and also the marvellous George Simpson. It was a great event, and there's uh, lots of things that have come from that particular conference that uh, even has surprised myself. Um, today is a very special day, and we just would like to tell you that, as you know, um, our conference was going to feature some information on the Frederick Valentich case. Well, we had a very special guest at that uh, conference that we kept rather quiet for obvious reasons. So um, this person came down from Queensland, attended the conference and then quietly slipped away without anybody knowing that she was there. So today we have something extremely, extremely terrific to show you and uh, we're sure that you're going to really enjoy this interview. Today, I'm proud to say that we're able to interview, probably for the first time on camera for a very, very long time, Miss Rhonda Rushton. So now, let's get on with the interview and uh, sit back and enjoy. Okay, so welcome Rhonda. Thank you very much. Yeah, welcome Andrew. to our little show. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, how are you? I'm very good, That's thanks. good. You're looking well after 30 plus years. Yes. <laughs> yeah. um, a little greyer, but... Mm. Mm, well, that does happen to all of us, I yes, think, at times. Yes, yes. Um, I'd like to maybe start off with yourself mm -hmm. and uh, how you actually met Fred. Yep. That'd be a great place to start, mm -hmm. I think, today. Yep. Um, and then uh, we'll move through the period of time when um, you got closer with Fred and then uh, to the point where uh, Fred disappeared and yep. then we can, we'll go through a recap on all that yep. and get your thoughts mm -hmm. along the way. So how did you and Fred originally meet each other? Yep, um, well we met uh, at 16 Flight Headquarters in North, North Melbourne. Right. And uh, he was a trainer, a cadet trainer at that that place. Yep. And um, a friend of mine used to go there um, who was a neighbour's son and he asked me one time if I'd like to just come along, have a look, and I said, yeah, I'll come along. Mm -hmm. And um, so we went down on a Friday night because that's when they have their night yep. you know and is it like a social night um yeah i think they do some training and different things earlier okay. and then it's a bit of a social thing afterwards yep. yeah so and then um so i went down and my friend peter was showing me around every everywhere yep. in the place mm -hmm. and then um we were walking down a very very narrow I remember it being so narrow this corridor mm. and at the end of the corridor is an office and you know we're just walking along there and um, we're halfway down the corridor and um, Fred came out of the door at the end where mm. the office was mm -hmm. and he came along and I remember him like sort of passing us but you know Peter stopped him to introduce me mm. and so Fred's standing right like opposite me and it would have been like this distance yeah, you know yeah, it real was close. really narrow yeah, yeah and yeah. he's standing there and I'm standing right opposite him and my friend Peter is standing over here and um he introduced us you yeah, know yeah. and Rhonda Rhonda Fred mm -hmm. and um we're actually just staring at each other, mm. you know, like I think it just clicked like pretty much straight away, you know, mm -hmm. and um, we're just, you know, oh my God, you know, sort of thing. Yeah, and, um, yeah, yeah. and Peter's talking and it, and later Fred and I did talk about that and it was like p Peter was going blah, 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 blah. Uh, so <laughs> like we didn't even, sound yes, in the background. we didn't even really hear <laughs> what he had to say. Yeah. And, um, and you know, Fred said, "Oh, very nice to meet you," and um, and that was it. And sort of Fred went. Oh, and Fred did ask Peter at the time because a dinner dance was on the next Saturday yeah. at the same place. Mm -hmm. And Fred did say that um, to Peter, uh, "Will you 
be bringing Rhonda to the dinner dance, mm. you know. And Peter said, yeah, I'll be there and I'll, I'll bring Rhonda along and, you know. Mm. And um, I think Peter wasn't happy because Peter did like me, not that... <laughs> I like Peter, bit of jealousy going on there. Yeah, maybe, uh, maybe a little. Yeah, yeah. and um, so anyway, um, that was that that night. Mm. You know, like I I met him and um, I, I I thought oh, I'll see him the following Saturday. Mm. And you know there was a connection, but I didn't think much of it at yeah. the time. But you, you know, were what sixteen? I, I was sixteen. How old was Fred at the time? Uh, he was twenty. He was yes, just on was, twenty. Yes. Yep. Okay. Um, Yes. Yeah. I don't know if he was... I'm trying to think now whether he's 19 and then just turned 20. I think he just turned 20... He was 19 when I actually met him. Mm-hmm. And in June the 9th, uh, he turned 20. Okay. Yeah. 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 And then... Um, uh, so, yeah, that was the first meeting in that little hallway. And yep. uh, he went off to do what he had to do. Mm-hmm. And we just kept, like having a look around and then um i don't think i saw him again that night and uh peter and i you know just went yeah, home yeah, yeah and uh so the following saturday yeah. um i went to their dinner dance yeah. and peter took me there mm-hmm. and uh, um I was sitting with peter up sort of one end of this, this big long table you know yeah. and then I know Fred was further down on the table on the other side yeah. and I met a lot of people there that night and it, it was a really good night you know they had a, a good it was yeah just really good and so he it was so funny because um, Peter had a, a pager you know and it was for his mother because his mother was like quite ill mm. and um, so whenever that went off, you know, Peter had to go home yep. to his mum. And yep. um, Fred sort of worked it out. He got the number, mm. and or he knew the number, mm. and um, because he had met Peter yeah. many times before. Yeah. Yeah. And so he, uh, halfway through the night, decided, mm, I have to get closer to Rhonda and have a chat, you know. So he rang Peter's pager number. Yeah. And it, it was a pager, so there's no, you know, it's like, not like a mobile yeah. where you know you can reply to it or anything so it's just like a it's just kind of like a thing that beeps or something yes like, okay, yeah. yeah and i think it had a little message that went across it Give or whatever a, to tell, say who it yeah, is yeah yeah okay. and yeah. um so yeah peter had to go mm. and he said oh I, i've got to go it's going to be my mum you yeah, know i have yeah. to go yeah. and he said i'll try to get back and get you or or i'll ring and get someone to take you home yeah. you know and i said oh great you yeah, know okay yeah, that's, yeah, fine, that's fine you know yeah do what you have to you know so in a way i'm going yes you know like <laughs> 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 um not because of fred but you know yeah um peter um but anyway so he took off and fred had realized his little plan had worked so you could see him <laughs> just move, you know. Slowly move around slowly the table. Slowly move up the table, yeah, you know, like yeah. he'd move up a few seats and sit and talk to those people and then move a bit further up and talk to them. He eventually worked his way around to where I was yeah. and um, sat with me and stayed there for the rest of the night. Yeah, and we yeah. just talked so much about so many things. So that was know? pretty was much like what the clicked. first time you actually between the two of you yes. had the opportunity to sort of converse and talk yes. about things without anybody around you. Yes. Well, yeah. there was a lot of people around us. But uh, you know what I mean, yes. like more an intimate sort of yes. conversation yeah. than before. Yes, yeah, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. And it, it was a great night, you yeah. know, like we, we clicked and yeah. we had a great conversation and told him, he told me all about himself and yep. me, I told him and mm-hmm. and everything. So he ended up driving me home and which was really good and then uh as uh i think we got home he gave me his phone number okay. and i gave him mine yeah. so and we're, and we're, when we're talking about phone numbers here we're talking mm-hmm. about home phone numbers home phone number. because there's no mobiles back yes, in them days no so, mobiles, it's, so yeah this is your parents phone number then. yes my yeah. parents phone number and it was only four numbers yeah okay. you know <laughs> not like whatever it is eight numbers now yeah, you know yeah. and um yes we exchanged phone numbers and he said to me he goes i you know i'm quite busy i've got a few exams coming up with flying and yeah. 
he said, um, I will ring. He yep. said, but I'll probably ring, you know, in a week or yep. maybe a bit more. But, mm-hmm. you know, I'm really busy. And I said, okay, that's fine. You mm-hmm. know, we'll, we'll catch up, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. So next morning, 7 a.m., <laughs> <laughs> I get a phone call from him. So, and we, I think we talked for like three hours on the phone. And, um, and then I did see him again on the Monday night. Mm-hmm. He came over. Mm-hmm. And then he said to me, look, you know, like he did always put flying first. Yeah. You know, and I was Well that was his passion. Second, I guess. yeah, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. But um he balanced it well. Right, you know, okay. like and so uh he said to me, Well, you know, week weeknights are usually out for him, you know, yeah. and uh we should get together on the weekends. Mm, so mm. So just on weeknights then if he's busy, what is he doing weeknights? Um, probably studying right. um, at home yep. or just, you know, being at home, mm-hmm. whatever. Yep. Um, uh, so, yeah, yeah, he would have just been doing things like that. Okay. Yeah, ma- mainly studying yeah. for yep. different exams that mm-hmm. were coming up. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. And um, so I think we went out that next weekend. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't be able to probably tell you where we went, but we... It was probably to a disco. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you yeah, know? Well, 78 would be yeah, disco yeah, time, yep, wouldn't it? Yeah, disco time. Yeah. And um, so, yeah, we went out, probably, we went out that Saturday and then um, he asked me to, like, go out with him, mm, you know, mm, to, mm-hmm. to be with him, so, yeah, yeah. Uh, which was... It all happened pretty quick then. It did, yeah, yeah, yeah but it, it was that, mm. you know... That yeah. sudden connect, connection oh, thing yeah. between the two, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. That almost like love at first sight thing. Yes, so, yeah, okay. definitely, yeah, yeah. definitely for both of us, yeah, you know. Yeah. And, um... So, yeah, uh, and then from then on, you know, pretty much every weekend we would be together, you know, doing something. Yeah. You know, if it wasn't flying, yeah. um, because I went on many flights with him, mm-hmm. um, if it wasn't that, it was a disco, yeah. <laughs> you know. Um, so let, let's just clear clear that up a little bit because mm-hmm. I've read, uh, you know, a fair bit about yeah, the case. Yeah. There's many people out there mm. who haven't read about the case. Um, one of the things that seemed to come forward was that you'd been on every single flight that Fred had done okay. except for this one flight. <laughs> now, I'm assuming that's probably not correct, but you might want to put it's, the records straight. Yeah, it's not correct. I went on a lot of flights yep. with Fred, mm-hmm. but yes, not every not every flight. You know, okay. He did a lot himself. I, he may have even done some flying during the week, yep. you know, but we didn't see each other. And did he always fly out of Moorabbin? Yes. He did? Yeah, yeah. As far as I know, yes, yeah. he always flew But from he around. didn't necessarily always take DSJ. There was other places no, there yeah, for hire. Yeah, what I brought, probably yeah. was available yeah, okay. that he would hire. But always yeah. a Cessna of some description. Yeah, always yeah. Cessna, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Okay. And, um, yeah, we went... Uh, I was never scared of it because I'm a, I am was a bit of a daredevil back then, you know. <laughs> Not a daredevil, but, you know, I, I wasn't scared of things, you know. Yeah, so... Yeah. Um, Flying, I loved, yep. and I felt so safe with him. You mm-hmm. know, like mm-hmm. he was so confident in what he so was doing. What was he really like? Was he really meticulous about everything? Oh. I mean, because most pilots are yes. very meticulous. Yeah. They make, you know, they check, double check, yes. triple check, all sorts of things yeah. like yeah. that. Because he that's was. just in their nature. So yeah. was he like that? Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. very much so. Okay. He was very meticulous. He. Um, with everything he did, not just flying, yeah. you know, with, with lots okay. of things, yeah. you know, um, with getting ready or, or you know, his mm. car, um, flying, everything, you know, everything had to be right, yeah. you yeah. know, mm-hmm. and um, he was one of those people too that, he was a real gentleman, mm-hmm. you know, like little old fashioned sort of. Which, which is a little bit unusual for that time frame. Yes. And yeah. his age. Yeah. Um, but I think it's the way you brought up. Yeah, well, you know, he's, you know he's come from like a, a European background. Yeah. So yeah. that's probably been an influence. Yeah. And it was good because I was like that too in a way because my, my parents were older and mm-hmm. a bit old fashioned. Mm-hmm. So, you know, we were similar mm. in those ways. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And he would, um, oh, he would open the car door, you know, mm-hmm. all those things, you know, like open doors for me. Um, Bit of a white knight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I always said that too, like, you know, he's my white knight in shining armor yeah. in a uniform. Yeah. You know, how good is this, you know, sort of thing. <laughs> but, yeah, he looked great in his uniform. Yeah. I used to love, I worked in a chemist yes. in um, West Preston. 
and uh, I used to love, he used to come and pick me up um, on a Friday night after he'd been to mm. 16 flight. And so he, he lived in Avondale Heights? Yes. And you lived in Preston, Preston. or how far, a, just for people who don't know, how far yeah. apart would that be roughly? Oh, probably half an hour. Half an hour's half drive? Half an hour drive. I'd say. Yeah, so what's that, about 7 or 8k, something yeah, like that, is it? Yeah, maybe a bit further. Yeah, maybe 10 kilometres. Yeah, but yeah. there was less traffic then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, but he was also one of those people that, um, <laughs> if he's like five minutes late, he would ring. You know, always, yeah. you know, and he's like probably only five minutes away. And that wouldn't be easy because you'd have to stop and find a phone. <laughs> yes, it. yes. No mobile. No. <laughs> Again, you know, and yes, he just find a phone booth yeah. bring me up yeah. and uh, sometimes it sort of drove me a little crazy but not you know because it was great yeah. you know that so he, why are you ringing me just keep yeah, coming you're like, yeah you're like only <laughs> you know five here. ten minutes yeah. away you're you know, wasting time being on the phone you couldn't yeah, be <laughs> yeah but it was more um like he set a time yeah you know and yeah. um if it went over that time, he would he would stop. So time frames were pretty important to him. Then. I think it was, yeah. Mm, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. Mm. And he would stop, ring, say, "I'm on my way," you yeah. know, you know. So, so when, when you actually met him, what year would is that? 1978 when you yeah. met him. Yeah. And what month would that have roughly been? March. So I it was think in it March. Was. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. Yeah. So that's kind of heading into winter time. Yes. Yeah. You, you still between the two you managed to go out somewhere oh, yeah. on the weekends always yeah, yeah. Uh, or every weekend or whatever yeah whatever. every weekend so did, did he ever fly in bad weather um, do you remember that if that ever happened like when I say bad weather was it ever raining I mean to that extent yeah um, one time we went flying it was raining yeah yeah, yeah. but well, not not really windy or anything no. just heavy rain yeah but yeah. yeah yeah but only one time that I can remember yeah. and what was the the furthest trip that you did with with him uh, one time we went down the airport, you know, he said, oh, you know, we're going to go flying again, mm. you know. Mm. And I said, oh, great, you know. And he said, any particular place you think you'd like to go, oh, you know. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, sometimes we have no plan, yeah. you know. Yeah. He was just trying to get his hours up. Yeah, yeah, yeah always, okay. always more hours, more yeah. hours, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. And I said, um, oh, yeah, whatever, you know, like, whatever you want to do. Yeah. And he says, is there anyone you'd like to visit? And I said, oh, I said, it's a long way. I go, but I have got this uncle that I adore in Newcastle, you know, south of Newcastle in Spears Point. Mm. And I said to him, it would be great if we could go there, yeah. you know, and yeah. see him. And he said, yeah, yeah. okay, you know. <laughs> so like off we went, yeah, yeah just took off. Yeah. Um, went, went, flew up there. Um, well, this is heading towards Sydney, isn't it? Past Sydney. Past Sydney. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Newcastle's past Sydney. And so we, we landed at um, Aero Pelican Airport, mm -hmm. which is tiny, you know, really, really small. No fence around it at the time. Yeah. And... Uh, Probably smaller than Moorabbin, I'd imagine. Oh, much, much oh, smaller. Shot. Oh, yes, yeah. yes, mm -hmm. definitely. Yeah. And uh, so we landed there and... Um, <laughs> You know, he did what he had to do with the plane and yep. tied it up, yep. everything he had to do, all the, you know, and then go in the office and whatever he had to do. And then um, I rang my uncle and he got a big shock, you know, that we were there. Yeah. Because I didn't, you know, we just got in the plane and went, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. which is more exciting. Yeah. You know, it's just yeah. an adventure, you know. Something you're not expecting, so yeah. you're in a different state. Yeah. <laughs> So I rang him and he said, oh, fantastic, you yeah. know, and came and got us and um, went around there, spent the day with him, but, you know, time got away from us yep. because he loved chatting to Fred, you know, and, and me, but yeah. um, time got away. So we realised, well, we can't come back tonight, you know, it was like getting late. Yep. So um, my uncle said, oh, well, you know, stay here. And then... Um, we stayed the night, everything was good. Uh, we went back to Aeropelican Airport mm -hmm. and actually um, the planes had been like tampered with a little. Now, I still don't know what had happened because he didn't really tell me, but he could tell that there was, you know, mm. not, not a major problem, you know, mm. he could still fly it, you know, but, 
But we found out when we went in, he went in the office and he found out that other planes had been tampered with because it had no fence and, yeah. the, you know, they were just Young sitting there overnight. Or something. Yeah, mm. yeah. So, but it was all good to go, yep. you know, mm-hmm. it's whatever the problem was. Yeah. So he, um, we took off mm-hmm. and we're flying back down, you know, to go back to Melbourne. Mm. And I remember um, we were getting near Bankstown mm. and, um, he had a problem. I think it was the, the, is it the column thing or whatever they call the, the yes, steering wheel. That thing. Yeah, <laughs> steering, wheel steering wheel. Thing. Yeah, steering wheel. I'm thing. not a pilot, so I don't know. But wobbly wheel. or so whatever. It was a bit loose. Felt a bit sloppy. Yeah, or kind something. Of loose. That's yep. what mm-hmm. I think I can remember him saying. Yep. You know, it was something to do with that or mm. whatever. And he joystick. I think they call yeah, it. Yeah, joystick. Something, something like that. Yeah, and um, so he. He was a bit not not over concerned about it, but mm, he said, mm. "I think I'd like to just be on the safe side, yeah, yep. have it looked at, yep. you know, and it'll be better." Yeah, you know, yeah, we'll yeah. Just make yeah. sure. He still had a fair know. way to go. So. Yeah, we had a fair way to go, but he was like that. He'd like, you know, let's check this. Let's yep. just make sure yep. the things are right. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So we um, we're flying along and. Um, he, he, he wasn't panicky or he wasn't worried about it, but he said, we'll sort of go across here now. We'll go to Bankstown and stop there mm. and get this checked out. Mm. But what he did was um, accidentally, I think, was fly into the edge. And I, I mean the edge yeah. of um, restricted area. area. Yeah, okay. Military yep. area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And yeah, next minute there's this big helicopter right next to us, mm, you know, mm. and they're sort of talking, I could tell they were talking to him and yep. asked him to, that he got told him that he'd gone into restricted airspace and that he must land now yeah. at Bankstown. Oh, okay. And he said, well, that's where I'm heading anyway. Yeah. I, I have, I think I have a problem with the plane, but I'm not sure, yep. you know. So I think with the plane having something wrong with it, he might have got away <laughs> with it a little bit, but yeah. when we did land, he did get some in, someone to check it out. Yeah. I remember that because yeah. I stayed in the plane the whole time. Yeah, you know, okay. I wasn't allowed to leave the plane. All right. Yeah, and um, I, he had people look at it, but yes, he was summoned to um, some office, mm. and I think had a very good talking to okay. about flying into that. Yeah. But I think. Um, it wasn't as bad as what um that was made out in the papers have, and yes things. it could have been yeah. a lot worse yeah. i think but yeah. because of the plane yeah yeah and mm. and being truly just cutting the corner yeah you know yeah. like it's not as if he flew right in there I, and I across. guess he was probably looking more at the safety factor more than anything yeah, yeah. He would that have would have been, been heavily on his mind i would imagine if he thought there was something wrong with the plane yeah um, he was probably looking for a way down as quickly as he could. Yeah. yeah. So that wouldn't surprise me if yeah. that sort of thing could have happened. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, yeah. Yeah, so so anyway, um, it was all good. He was a bit um, disappointed, I think, that, you know, that did happen. Mm. You know, like mm. he didn't want those things to happen um, because it's a blemish, I suppose, yeah. you know. Um, yeah. And so he was a bit disappointed, but not not upset. You know, mm. everything was good again, and off we took, and we got to Melbourne great, and it was a fantastic day, mm. you know. And I can remember looking out the plane and looking at the blanket of clouds, you know, and thinking, oh, you know, you can just get out and walk on yeah, that, you know, yeah. like. It doesn't look like that sometimes, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, no, um, it was very special. That trip was really special. Yeah. You know, to see my uncle, and I'm so glad my uncle got to meet him. Yeah. You know, because he was a special person to me. So, um, yeah, no, that that was our longest, longest flight Mm. together. Yeah. Yeah.